21st, 2021 Board of Supervisors meeting. Before I call this meeting to order, I would like to ask everyone to please either mute or turn off your telephones. If they go off during the meeting, you'll have to buy everybody lunch and it'll get expensive for you. So with that, I will go ahead and call this meeting to order. Dr. Varona, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Dr. Varona. Next item is uh, the adoption of the agenda. Madam Manager. Good morning. Um, we need to remove action item G6. Staff, G6. Yes, sir. Staff will bring it back um, once the item is ready to present to the board. Okay, so we're just removing it and yes, then you'll sir. reschedule it. Okay. Yes, sir. Anything else? No, sir. That's it. Okay, Chair, I'll entertain a motion then to adopt the agenda with item uh, action item G6 being removed. So moved. Move to, I'll second and allow chair to deviate. Okay, there's a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimous. Our agenda is adopted. We'll go, go under call to the public. Uh, Marty Durkin, are you on the phone, sir? Right here. There you are. <clears throat> well, because I didn't know if you were going to be in person or not. So please go up to the podium. You got three minutes, my friend. So. I appreciate it. Uh, first off, I just want to express my appreciation to the board members um, during the recent monsoons and some of the, uh, with all that was going on in the county, you guys took time out of your busy schedules to help us address some issues in Tubac, where I live, uh, uh, primarily the wet crossing issues that we had at, at a couple of our uh, crossings there. And I just want a sincere thank you for just taking time out and addressing that in a real-time basis. Uh, secondly, the reason I, I, I'm here is uh, I've had contacts from some of my clients. I'm a real estate agent in Tuba. And uh, the clients are asking if indeed the county is still considering um, a certificate of particip participation or any lease financing agreements for some of the pension funds. We'd just like to know those procedures, if you're still considering it, for these clients to contact the county. So that's really my only request. And right. I'm because it's called to the public, uh, Marty, we can't discuss it, but you can reach out to Ms. St. John and she might be able to answer that's that That's what question. I'm looking for. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Dr. Barona. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to see you up this early. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you get up earlier, I know. Since 3.30, I even saw Supervisor Moleta bicycling this morning when I left the gym. All right. Uh, Supervisor, Mr. Chairman, um, Marcelino Varona. I'm the chairman of the Nogala Santa Cruz uh, Library Board. And you have an agenda item uh, for today uh, for the approval of Brian Vandervolt as a member of our board. He is a member right now. And I just wanted you to know, the three of you to know, that he is a very active participant of the board. He has education in the forefront of everything that he does. He is there, he's an advocate. He's especially a great advocate for uh, reading, literature, and we hope that you will give him serious consideration and approve him. He has a unanimous endorsement of all the members of the board. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Varona. Thank you. Before we move on to this item, is there anyone else under call to the public? If you're on the Zoom call, uh, what is it, star six? Or if you're on the Zoom, raise your hand. Going once, going twice, okay. So at this time, Chair will go to G, action items one, discussion, possible action to approve the reappointment of Brian Vandervolt to the Nogales Santa Cruz County Library Board for District 3, Chairman, Vice Chairman Brecker. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I nominate Brian Vanderbilt to serve another term on the Library Board for District 3. I'll second, second the motion. Second, and uh, I'm glad to hear that he is a participant and, and he takes his 
appointment serious because that's what, what, what we need. So <clears throat> there is a motion and a second. Any further discussion or comments? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, motion carries unanimous, and Mr. Randall is reappointed to the Nogala Santa Cruz County Library Board for District 3. Doctor, have a good one. Okay, we're going to go back then to item D, current events. One, Board of Supervisors, Vice Chairman Brecker. Thank you very much, Chairman Reese. Um, the Nogales newspaper, Nogales International and WIC newspapers held their 2021 Most Influential People recognition for the I-19 region, and there were several people and one business from Santa Cruz County that were recognized. Um, West Rock Packaging was recognized for donating over 200,000 boxes to the Food Bank for Southern Arizona Nogales branch for the produce distribution program. Efrain Tirugas from the uh, Southern Arizona Food Bank uh, Nogales branch was recognized for his effort in coordinating that, um, that during the height of the pandemic, uh, was creating 7,000 boxes per week for distribution in Santa Cruz, Pima, and Cochise counties. But it went a little bit further. Casina Farley from Patagonia was recognized for her community service in that area. Mar Mariana Gallhouse was recognized for her work with the Santa Cruz County training programs. Mary Helen Maley um, was recognized for her work with Circles of Peace. Um, and Aurelio Villa was recognized by the Rotary Club this year for all his years of service in that club. And finally, Christina Wilhelm was recognized for her work in creating the Beverly Kendall Opera House in Patagonia. So there's a lot of really good things happening in our community. There's people that are willing to serve, people are willing to give their time. And in big communities, it's that you really don't see it that much. They make, they make an impact. In small communities, people giving their time, um, it really makes a difference to us. And so I would just encourage people to look around, see what you're interested in and see if you can't give a little bit of time to something that you like. It really makes a difference in our community. So thank you very much, Chairman Reese. Thank you. Supervisor Malera. Mr. Chairman, good morning. Morning. Uh, I will be brief. I had the honor and privilege of uh, chairing the Small Counties Caucus uh, last Wednesday, uh, where several items were reported, and one of them well, one key item was uh, the census uh, count in uh, La Paz County is really off, and in several counties. I, I think in, in pretty much all counties throughout the state. The timing was kind of bad, and uh, COVID kind of mm -hmm. um, put a, a damper on it as well. So uh, people are, are reaching out to see how they can uh, um, provide um, uh, another count or um, maybe an, a more accurate count, um, but it, it's really, really difficult, really complicated, but the process has started through uh, Pinal County. Um, I want to congratulate um, our finance director, um, Jennifer. Uh, I believe we got good news last week uh, uh, on the findings from, from the IRS that Supposedly, we weren't supposed to use uh, pre-tax uh, bonds, and, and I guess uh, we received a, a determination that our bonds would continue non-taxable. Good, good news. Um, broadband's also a really hot topic uh, throughout the state, and Juan is on it, and I thank you, Juan, for your efforts. Um, and, and one last item I want to report, and, and it's, it's in my uh, uh, district, it's, uh, the issues we're having with uh, the, the paving uh, with Fisher contractors. Uh, uh, we continue to get complaints from our neighbors um, about the smell, the noise, they're working around the clock and uh, uh, people are having issues with their sleep. So uh, we continue to... Um, Communicate with all the parties uh, involved, ADOT, ADQ, and, and Fisher, Portland, and Cal Portland, and uh, hopefully this will be uh, over sooner rather than later because it's become a real nuisance to our neighborhood. And that's all I have to report, Mr. Chairman. 
thank you, Supervisor Moleta. Uh, quickly, I did meet with uh, consultants that are uh, helping us with broadband, uh, Terry Cooper and uh, Jim Palmer uh, from Graham County, former supervisor and, and county manager. They're working with a group and trying to find best ways to fund uh, the middle and last mile, and that seems to be probably the, the hardest. The other thing to all you U of A fans, NSASU fans, it was a terrible week. Um, for the Jacks, it was a great week. I guess 1932 was the last time NAU beat the U of A, so who knows, maybe at the end of the season they'll be looking for two new coaches again, so. We'll see how that goes, but um, anyway, uh, and then next week we will uh, be attending our legislative summit up in, in Prescott. Uh, we will be meeting with, the, with our other colleagues from uh, the other 14 counties uh, to uh, discuss and vote on legislative agenda items for our supervisors association to lobby on our behalf with the legislature. So. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to make some good inroads and uh, uh, it's important that we as a county and I would I would encourage our our constituents to stay engaged because that's the only way we can make a difference and uh, uh, hopefully as we move forward next year uh, it won't be as bad as it was this year so with that I will go to item two managers report Jennifer good morning good morning again members of the board members of the public um, as Supervisor Malera mentioned, we continue our regular meetings with ADEQ, ADOT. Um, we've reached out to our state legislators as well, trying to resolve, get some relief on the Fisher activity that's happening and with, along with the I-19 paving project. Uh, I had my monthly meeting with the town of Patagonia. We had our monthly managers meetings and, and census and legislative priorities were the t hot topics, as Supervisor Malera mentioned. Uh, Sonia and I attended a quarterly insurance meeting, as well as uh, Juan and I, we met with our broadband consultants. I was also able to meet the new interim director of the U of A Cooperative Extension, Ethan Orr, and exchange some ideas on how we could partner. Uh, we also attended small counties and a CSA Board of Directors monthly meeting. And then yesterday, I had the honor of speaking to the Citizen Council uh, regarding the county's booster plan. So that's all I have to report. All right, thank you, Jennifer. We'll move on to Adam E, Department of Reports and Activities, Finance, Cash, Investment, Expenditure, and Revenue Reports. Mauricio, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. The general fund has an overall balance of $12,377,203 with an investment amount of $10,286,000. The road fund has an overall balance of $2,031,933 with an investment amount of 815,000. The flood control district has an overall balance of 2,115,039 with an investment amount of $1.8 million. The jail district has an overall balance of 2,227,539 with an investment amount of just a little bit over a million dollars. Total for all funds overall balance 35,957,771 with an investment amount of 15,779,000. Estimated end of the month balance of 9,728,927. Thank you. Any questions of Mr. Chavez? Thank yes, you, sir. Mr. Chavez. Thank you, Mauricio. Yes, sir. At this time, uh, Chair will entertain a motion to recess regular meeting and convene into the jail district. So moved. Hear a second. second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, we are now convening to our jail district. Uh, item one, discussion possible action for authorization to fill A, a detention sergeant position, uh, B, five detention officers positions, and C, two detention booking clerks. Uh, all of it uh, is budgeted for Madam Manager. Yeah. Mr. Chavez, great. Move to approve. Second. Second. Second discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously and we can fill those positions. This time, Chair, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn our jail district reconvene regular session. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion. 
Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously, and we are now convened into regular session. Action items two, discussion, possible action to approve professional services agreement with the Friends of Tubac Presidio and, and Museum to maintain and operate the Tubac Presidio State, State Historic Park. Move to approve. Second. Okay, second. Everything in order? Yes, sir. Great. There is a motion and a second. Any discussion, comments? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Item three, discussion, possible action to approve intergovernmental agreement for the College Career Readiness and Education Opportunity CCREO project effective October 1st, 2021 through September 30th, 2022. And that is a Santa Cruz Valley Unified School District number 35 in the amount of $200 thousand six hundred and forty three dollars being Ogallis Unified School District in the amount of one hundred and ninety seven thousand eight hundred and seventy seven and C Santa Cruz County Provisional Community College District in the amount of twenty five thousand nine hundred dollars before we vote I would just like to for the record say that I am a member of the governing board of the Nogales Unified School District and I don't receive any kind of enumeration or anything by my action today. So move to approve. Do second. I have a second discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Motion carries unanimously. Item four, discussion, possible action to approve an amendment to the intergovernmental agreement with Mariposa Community Health Center for implementation of law enforcement participation in HRSA RCO. R Corp slash I grant program overcome overcoming substance abuse consortium. Everything in order? Shall entertain a motion? Move to approve. Second. Uh, discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Item five, discussion. Possible action to approve the city of Tucson high intensity drug trafficking area hide up program grant agreement. COT grant number HT-21-2054 from January 1st, 2021 through December 31st, 2022 in the amount of $181,715. Move to approve. Order? Good. Now, Motion and a second. second. Discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Item six has been removed. Item seven, discussion. Possible action to approve auction of obsolete county vehicles and furniture equipment. Everything good to go on that, Jennifer? Mauricio? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Great. Chair, I'll entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. Chairman? Yes. I'd like to thank everybody involved at the county for putting their efforts to help clean out some of these warehouses and spaces. And it's been a Herculean effort and is greatly appreciated. To get all the stuff out of the old probation. Working on it. Working on that, sir, yes. <laughs> Part yeah. of it. Uh, that will be taking place Monday morning. Great, thanks. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion or comments? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. We can sell all our obsolete stuff. Item eight, discussion, possible action to approve. The following proclamations A designating September 27th through October 3rd, 2021 as Diaper Needs Aware Awareness Week that was requested by Supervisor Mollett and it's an annual proclamation and B designating October 2021 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month that was re requested by the County Attorney. Everything in order? Shall entertain a motion? Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. Item nine, discussion, possible action to approve a contract with the Arizona State Board of Equalization for Hearing Officer Services. Everything in order there, Madam Clerk? Yes, sir. Good, and this helps us where we don't have to sit as the tax board. Yeah. So it takes the politics out of it, which is great. Uh, there is, Chair, I'll entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. Here, second, discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously. 
Item 10, discussion, possible action, recommendation of approval or disapproval of application for special events license for the Anza Trail Coalition of Arizona on November 26th through November 28th, 2021 in Tubac. Uh, everything in order, Madam Clerk? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Chair, Chairman, Chairman, move to approve. Do I hear a second? second. Uh, and just quickly, is this kind of like a little function that they're going to have? Yes, sir. They'll be having an event in Tubac um, for those dates of November 26th to the November 28th. I believe okay. it's a weekend. Okay, good. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Item 11, discussion, possible action to approve bond for duplicate warrant number 2-100046 in the amount of $4,250 dated on 7-2021 payable to Safari Electric. Everything in order? Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. We'll move on to item 12, approval of minutes of 9-7-2021. Everyone sign off on them, uh, Alma? Yes, sir, they did. Okay, Thank you. I'll entertain a motion. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Item 13, monthly reports. Are they all in? All reports are in, sir, yes. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. We're betting 1,000. <laughs> all right, uh, I'll entertain a motion. Move to approve. To hear a second. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Monthly reports are approved. Demand. Supervisor Moletta. Mr. Chair, move to approve demands totaling $1,142,239.86, of which $424,277.30 are from the general fund. To hear a second. I will second. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimously, and I believe the last item is adjournment. Chair will entertain a motion. Move to adjourn. So I hear a second. Discussion. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 We stand adjourned.